Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back everybody for another YouTube video. Today we are going to be talking about a cryptocurrency that is looking to bring the hundreds of trillions of dollars worth of real world assets into the crypto space through tokenization. We are not only going to get into what cryptocurrency it is I'm talking about, a little bit about it, but we're going to be looking at some partnerships that they already have in regards to facilitating this goal with some major financial institutions. Um, I really want to start things off by looking at a clip from Larry Fink that I'm sure many of you that follow the channel regularly will be familiar with, of him talking about how he believes the next evolution of markets is tokenized assets. Now, this cryptocurrency is very well positioned and already is looking to facilitate and facilitating in some cases this exact goal. Guys, let's dive into the clip and then we've got uh, quite a bit of information to get into. We're going to be going down a few rabbit holes, um, so strap yourselves in. This is Larry Fink talking about the future of I mean, look, think about FTX. I mean, you can look back now. FTX created it. Its failure was it's creating its own token. It was not a DeFi it wasn't a, it wasn't a uh, you know a, a ledger that was open to the world it was a closed ledger right. it was not distributed so the whole foundation of what crypto is it's supposed to be a distributed ledger that is across the system i actually believe this technology is going to be very important i am i you know look at it we have been part of a huge revolution in investing through etfs we believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means while people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. You don't need trust banks. But does that disrupt you? We'll leave that there. We've played this clip a number of times, but it's a very important one because if you understand the size of the securities derivatives market, we're talking hundreds of trillions of dollars. Um, and right now, uh, and I'll go over to a trading view chart. We currently have, we'll use a Bitcoin trading view chart, the crypto space, which is a very small industry. And then we've got the absolute behemoth that is the traditional, uh, this is a $1 trillion market class. And this is in the 600 trillions. If you're talking about derivatives, government debt, which is securities, you know, essentially what you're going to have is you're going to have cryptos and some of the real winners within the crypto space are going to be tokens that essentially facilitate the combining of these two worlds. Blockchain honestly is nothing short of revolutionary in so many different ways. And the applications for blockchain are far and wide, not just within the financial space, KYC, identity, you know, tokenizing everything. The cryptocurrency that we're going to talk about today, guys, is XDC. Now, I made a video yesterday where I spoke about three cryptocurrencies. I had to take it down, though, unfortunately, that were um, very well positioned in being part of the new financial system. And XDC is exactly that. So XDC is Zinfins, um, essentially native token, but network. So it, it's their blockchain that is essentially looking to, um, through hybrid blockchains, sort of solve global trade and finance. Very, very interesting. Uh, this is a coin that we've not looked at very heavily at all. Um, but this is an exceptionally um, impressive blockchain and actually the applications that these guys are trying to um, achieve are massive. I mean, you can see their partnerships. R3 Ripple is also a, um, a blockchain or XRP is a blockchain that we also think is going to do very well because it's been chosen by institutions. It's been chosen and is already working with institutions in the same way 
that XDC, uh, Zinfin's token actually has. And you can see it currently sits at a $450 million market cap. In my opinion, this is going to get well into the billions, um, but that is just my opinion. Do not take that as financial advice because it is anything but. Um, so ultimately, this is an exceptionally interesting blockchain that is already making a hell of a lot of headway. Um, XDZ Network is an enterprise-grade, open-sourced blockchain protocol, an EVM-compatible chain with enforceable smart contracts. Very handy, the enforceable bit for the kind of uh, traditional financial world. Uh, it is uniquely suited to revolutionize, decentralize, and liquefy the trade finance industry through the tokenization of real-world assets and financial instruments. So liquefy is a very interesting word to me because we actually had an article from 2022 that popped into my mind when I was actually researching all this. Tokenization of illiquid assets to reach $16 trillion by 2030. Actually, we see trade tech to securitize trade finance receivable on the XDC network public blockchain. Trade Tech, a World Economic Forum member, has been has selected the XDC network to launch um, the Trader token, the Trader, the Trade Finance Back Fungible Security token. The move is expected to deliver significant liquidity to the trade finance sector by securitizing a traditionally illiquid asset class on the XDC network, a public decentralized blockchain. The collaboration represents the next evolution in the trade tech and XFIN partnership, which first introduced trade finance based non-fungible tokens for institutional investors in September 2021. I think this blockchain's only been about since 2018. Like the trader launch, the NFT offering use uh, XFIN's XDC network, to transform trade finance assets into non-fungible tokens with uh, trade tech repackaged and distributed to investors. This is huge, guys. This is a blockchain that, again, this is what's going on here. This is crypto. This is the traditional financial space. So 600 trillion is, by the way, it's probably significantly more than that um, in terms of global wealth but it's all going to be tokenized, ladies and gentlemen. Let me not mix my words when I say that. It's something that we've been very, very confident on for a very, very long time. So to switch back to the token and then go down a bit of a rabbit hole, I think this this token could do quite well. It's just my own opinion. Fully diluted market cap at 1.2 billion. Is this a five, six, seven, eight, nine billion dollar project? It's for you to decide, but I think you are going to get into the uh, multiple billions of dollars, certainly given the kind of partnerships these have and these these guys have and the way that we know the world is moving. Some interesting things. This is some other articles from 2022. Standard Charter to tokenize trade finance in Singapore digital asset pilot. Uh, it says Standard Charter is launching a trade finance token Organization pilot as part of the Monetary Authority of Singapore MAS initiative that is exploring the economic potential and value adding use cases of the issuance of tokens linked to assets. So this is from the MAS licensed digital uh, custodial uh, propine announces partnership with Zinfins XDC network the developer software solution is integrated with the zinfin to service uh, its users with institutional grade security and fully compliant and insured custody services so these guys are already is uh, 020022 compliant um, and they have instruments that will actually facilitate kyc kyc is going to become a big thing one last little uh, dive down the rabbit hole. This is the XDC network surges 25% with the SBI VC trade partnership. XDC network has collaborated with the SBI VC trade co limited to establish a presence in Japan. These guys are doing exceptionally well, guys. Again, the illiquid uh, assets essentially market is to reach 16 trillion. That's not to mention the tokenization of liquid assets, 
you know, things like bonds, so on and so forth, or semi-liquid assets, I should say. Guys, we are going to be doing a lot more diving into tokens like XDC that we can see links with the traditional world and partnerships already formed um, that are looking to facilitate what we believe is going to be the um, new financial system that is going to incorporate blockchain. Make no bone about it, guys. Blockchain is going to be used in everyday life the same way we use it at the internet, the same way as we use a PC in regards to a smartphone same way we drive a car, so on and so forth. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Have a good Friday, guys. See you all in the next one.